Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, but again, if you are subscribed, Thank you very much. I love the support. I'm almost to 200 subscribers. Um, and if you're not in that phone flipping Facebook group, I do have the link down below. It's free to join. Just extra tips for you guys um, to learn more and faster about the phone flipping industry and how you can make some extra money. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be talking about one mistake that I think a lot of you are making. And it's one mistake that I made in the beginning um, as well that has cost me a lot of money and potentially could cost you thousands of dollars in the long run if you don't take care of it. So with that said, let's get into the video. So the one mistake that I think could cost you guys a lot of money and a lot of people that have come to me, I've seen this problem with them, is they simply don't take enough time to do the checkout process of actually going, meeting the person and checking through the phone. If you guys haven't watched my previous video um, about the iPhone buyer checklist, there's a plethora of things you need to check for. So with that said, you need to allot about 10 to 20 minutes um, for actually checking that phone. And if you guys are new, which I'm guessing most of you are, um, to the actual phone flipping, it's going to take you a little bit longer than someone like me who's actually been doing this for quite a few months now. So, um, and it's something that you guys will get comfortable with. Yes, it's nervous in the beginning and it's something um, you hate pushing people. And I get it, when you're meeting with somebody, you don't uh, want to take up their time and sometimes they get frustrated because you're checking all these things um, and with that said they're probably frustrated simply because they know something's wrong with the phone that's why they're selling it to you for so cheap because obviously we're lowballing people to get profits on our end um, but with that said like some people are just genuinely are busy and stuff like that and, and for me personally I, I understand that because I don't want to take their time I don't want them to waste my time so you need to a lot about 10 to 20 minutes um, for me it takes only about five to ten minutes to check all these things simply because I've been doing Doing it for a long time but if you're a beginner um, let them know before you're actually going to meet up with them that you need to a lot about 15 to 20 minutes just say hey I'm gonna be checking some things on the phone just to make sure everything checks out um, it'll take about 10 15 minutes and if they say okay then then you're clear and if they don't obviously don't buy the phone because obviously they're gonna try to scam you because they don't want you to know everything about the phone or they want you to figure it out after you have the cash and they're probably already blocked you by then so there are a lot of things to check on the phone. If you haven't watched that video, there's things like the IMEI, model number, condition, iCloud, um, touch ID, front back camera, volume and sounds. And then like the, with the IMEI, you need to check. Yes, you need to check everything physically, um, but you also need to check the IMEI. So you're gonna need like your own personal cell phone. That's why I recommend meeting at somewhere with like a Wi-Fi, like a McDonald's, or like a carrier store where they have like a guest Wi-Fi, something like that. Um, we were able to go to Swappa, IMEI Pro, IMEI Info, and check all the carrier websites also, whichever carrier it is, to make sure there's no balance and it hasn't been blacklisted by that actual carrier. So that does take a bunch of time. Like that's in a lot. That's honestly four or five minutes right there, just checking the IMEI. So um, again, you will get comfortable with it over time. You just need practice. Um, and to me meeting people consistently, doing it every single day. And then the final point, and this kind of relates, this could be a second mistake that could cost you $1,000 or more in the future, would be not getting that bill of sale. And that's something, if anything on this channel, I stress enough about phone flipping, that's the one thing you truly need is the bill of sale because that holds the seller of the phone accountable and it decreases any liability on your end. So let's say the phone gets IMEI blacklisted and then they're going to file an insurance claim on their end saying, oh, I lost the phone when they were just getting cash off you. And then you're stuck with a blacklisted phone. Yes, you can go sell it on eBay, but you're probably going to lose some money off of it. But if you have that bill of sale, um, there is no liability on your end. You can show the insurance company that here's their identification, here's their signature showing that they signed over the phone to me with this IMEI. It's the same IMEI. And then um, that's why I always take a picture of the ID on top of the bill of sale itself. So I'll just have them fill out the information. If you don't have that bill of sale, just shoot your email down below and I'll shoot um, and I'll send you an email attached with that bill of sale. I'm not going to charge anything for it. Um, I just want to help you guys out. And then I'll just take, after they fill out everything, I'll just tell them to put their ID right on there. I'll take a picture of it. Um, I'm not doing anything bad with the information like we're, we're running a business here so obviously we have to have accountability for our actions so that we're using that ID we're using that ID just to verify that that's the actual information because they could just write random name on there and you would never know and 
if they do that, they could say, oh, that's not even my name. So you wanna have that bill of sale and identification with it. But again, that's something you guys need to make sure that they know before they get there. Um, that's just gonna mitigate anybody that's gonna try to sell you a scam phone and that's where you're gonna lose money is people um, selling you phones without the bill of sale. And yes, you can go through everything, but there's things that I don't even know about probably still that can go wrong with the phone that I've yet to figure out. But um, getting that bill of sale protects all of that legally. Um, you have no liability with the phone and um, if it goes bad. But if it's a bad IMEI phone, which I say I don't originally buy, um, but if you do, you're probably not gonna get a bill of sale with that. But I don't really have too much information on that solely because I don't buy those type of phones because there's a lot of bad things legally with that. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, found some value in it. Um, I, I truly believe that getting that bill of sale and really taking the time to check the phone will help you save thousands of dollars. I mean, me personally going into phone flipping, I watched a couple YouTube videos, I was in a couple groups, but I really didn't know in that much information because it was all bits and pieces. Um, but that's kind of why I created this channel, just kind of lay it out all for you. Um, and there is a lot of information on it, but at some point I'm going to release something, maybe like a course in the future, something that gets really in depth into making significant amount of money with this. Um, actual like technique or business model so um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and again if you're not subscribed hit the subscribe button just that little red button below me um, I'm almost trying to get to 200 subscribers so let me get that threshold it gives me some motivation to release these videos and with that said I'll see you tomorrow in the next video